Hello and welcome to a new video. My name is Tarek Juster and today we discuss the polymer material selection of applications in the building and construction field. Okay, let us get started. First, why using plastics in building and construction? So to start with, polymers and plastics are long lasting solutions. So they are durable, strong, tough and uh, also corrosion resistant, uh, combined with a perfect insulation um, towards uh, water, heat, noise and vibration. Then we have, uh, they, they are generally light in weight, so low density and the installation and assembly on site is easy. Then when you think of your bathroom and your kitchen, you can do uh, the creation of stylish and hygienic modern designs. And also the design of future application is enabled with uh, plastics, also called smart materials. Uh, for example, um, climate, climate walls to regulate the internal temperature or solar energy. Um, generation system which are part of uh, glazing systems and those uh, can turn transparent or opaque and, all, and also plastics play a key role in the production of earthquake proof buildings and there is also uh, you can have special light transmitting effects and uh, this is mainly suitable for indoors or also outdoors. Okay, let's have a look at the overview uh, on the share of plastics used in building and construction. So what are the main uh, polymers? So here in green you can see it's uh, PVC, it's the, uh, the biggest share of the, the pie followed by polystyrene, then polyolefins, mainly polyethylene and polypropylene and also polyurethanes and PMMA. Then let's discuss uh, the application areas uh, for plastics. So to start with exterior. So there we have typical applications are cladding and uh, the siding, roofing, roof drain systems um, and also exterior trims followed by interior. So here classic applications are the windows and the doors, also the floorings, um, uh, paints, interior trims, glazing, also piping, uh, fittings, furnishings and also carpet. Then energy economy. So here the, the main application is in, uh, in heat ventilation and air conditioning systems. Um, we have also wall and ceiling insulations and there are also radiant barriers and structural insulating sheetings. And we have the classic uh, construction products such as structural or insulating sheeting in the house building and uh, several others which are listed here um, which we also discuss uh, now now in more detail okay let's have a detailed look on the applications and which materials to use best for so um, uh, one of the uh, major exterior applications is glazing and here possible plastic solutions are acrylics for example, a PMMA with an acrylic elastomeric component for better impact or polycarbonate, which has also this uh, uh, good impact behavior already intrinsically given. Then a part of glazing, we have roofing and for roofing, uh, PVC is mainly used. There are also different variations like, for example, chlorinated polyethylene uh, and also uh, PV. DC, so polyvinyl dilene chloride. We also find polycarbonates and also uh, class fiber reinforced grades of polycarbonate. Then you find in roofing also um, rubber components like uh, APTM 
and also expanded polystyrene, so the EPS sheets. And you can also find some uh, reinforced styrene, butadiene styrene, so SPS copolymers. Then, what we also already previously discussed, window frames and doors. Here is a uh, PVC dominating material, also foam PVC. Then we have also ABS, um, also co-extruded with vanilla modified ASA, or also polyolefins modified styrene. Acrylon tricopolymer, so the same. And we have also ABS, so thermoform panels for high quality doors and window profiles. Then also uh, important for all the um, energy management are non-structural insulation foams. And here we have mainly polyurethanes for rigid foams, also EPS, so expanded polystyrene and also expanded polyethylene, so EPE. And you can also find phenolics, um, foreigns, PVC, and so on. Then electrical insulation, so this is mainly wiring, cables, and conduits. Here we have uh, PVC, we have also polyolefins, polyethylene, polypropylene, foamed and non-foamed, and also flu polymers. Then uh, very big field is plumbing, so piping for cold water, hot water, drainage, also gas distribution, and when you also think uh, floor heating systems. So here we have also uh, a mix out of different materials. Uh, you find often PVC, polyethylene high density, low density, and other polyethylene types, also ABS. Um, we find uh, polypropylene, polybutylene acetars and also cross-linked polyolefins such as the cross-linked polyethylene for especially for the floor uh, heating then when you look at um, uh, plastic can be also additive for the cement itself or a reinforcer to concrete so um, there you have mainly polymer modified concrete polymer concrete itself um, also polymer impregnated concrete and uh, fiber reinforced plastic rebars and you can also have it as an additive to the asphalt or the cement these are uh, rubber granules different rubber from aptm over uh, uh, all, all kinds of uh, rubbers mainly in recycling then uh, geotextiles geocells geomembranes here um, Possible plastics are polyolefins, so polypropylene, high density polyethylene, but also PVC, and we have here also polyesters with modern thermosets and synthetic rubbers. Okay. If you want to find out more information on different polymer polymer engineering topics, I highly recommend you my blog, findoutaboutplastics.com, as well as my online courses on the topic polymer material selection. I will link you both the blog and the courses below in the description. Okay, which video to watch next? This video, in this video here, we discuss the polymer material selection of car interior applications. So check it out. Thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe and smash that like button. Till next time, bye.